Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is September 29, 2022, and we're in a New Testament. We're going to read from the book of Luke today. We're going to read chapter 20, verse 45, to chapter 21, verse 38 today. All right, so where are we at with Luke? Well, again, this is the Passion Week. We're, we're somewhere in the middle of it. Luke, Luke doesn't isn't that concerned he, with, with, with the time frame he wants us to see the events that happen during this the event we want here well he's just told his told his disciples to beware the scribes and the teachers of their day and he gives them a good example with this by sitting there they're watching the the temple and they're watching the people come and drop their money in the box and give their offering. And they see a rich man come in and makes a big deal about dropping his in there. And then they see a widow who comes in and drops her last money in there and says, you know what? Better better to have it in God's hands than my hands. And he says, you know what? That's that's what you need to emulate. Give out give out of your heart. And you know, you're not giving for show. His disciples want to know, hey. You, you, you're talking about the destruction of the temple, and, and, you, and, and it seems like you're talking about you're going to come again. How do we know all this is going to happen? And they, you got to look at their question. It's, some, it's kind of hard to understand exactly what's going on here. Their, their question is basically two parts. What's going to happen to the world in general? What's going to happen to us particularly? And, and Jesus gives them a two-part answer. Because he talks about some things that are going to happen right away, that he's going to die, they're going to be persecuted. But he's also talking about that end time and, and him coming for a second time. Because he kind of ends on it with, with this generation will, will not pass until they see the end. And people kind of say, well, he must have lied because all the disciples died and the world didn't end. No, he, that, that, that's part of his answer. But then his end, the ending, the second coming... The end of all the ages, that's going to happen within a generation, within about 40 years. So so if you're here, when that starts, you're going to be here when it ends too. What if you're not here when it starts? Well, then he gets into, hey, you're, you have, you, you, nobody knows when it's going to happen. So you got to expect it to happen all the time. Uh, you, I'm not going to run around sinning and being acting weird and crazy and wild, think, thinking, well, you know what, as soon as I see... That, that first sign, I'm going to repent. No, you need to always have that repentant heart, always be seeking after Jesus, always assume that, hey, you know what, you go to bed at night, you might not get up in the morning. Uh, you, you're going to get in your car and drive to the store, you might not make it, you might get hit by a truck. So you're always looking and always being prepared that, that this is the end. No matter what generation you're in, we are we're asked to watch watch for the lord to come and live like he's coming right now so let's go ahead and we're going to read luke chapter 20 verse 45 to chapter 21 verse 38 then in the hearing of all the people he said to his disciples beware of the scribes who desire to go around in long robes love greetings in the marketplaces the best seats in the synagogues and the best places at feasts who devour widows houses and for a pretense make long prayers these will receive greater condemnation. And he looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury, and he saw also a certain poor widow putting in two mites. So he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all. For all these out of their abundance gave, have put in offerings for God, but she out of her poverty put in all the livelihood that she had. Then as some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and donations, he said, These things which you see, the days will come in which one, not one stone shall be left upon another, that shall not be thrown down. So they asked him, saying, Teacher, but when will these things be? And what sign will there be when these things are about to take place? And he said, Take heed that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is drawn near. Therefore do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions do not be terrified for these things must come to pass first but the end will not come immediately then he said to them nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there will be great earthquakes in various places and famines and pestilences and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven but before all these things they will lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons you will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake but it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony 
Therefore settle it in your hearts not to mediate beforehand on what you will answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. By your patience possess your souls. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, let those who are in the midst of her depart, and let not those who are in the country enter her. For these are the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in these days. For there will be great distresses in the land and wrath upon this people. And they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled by Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And there will be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and on the earth. Distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. Then he spoke to them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they are already budding, you see and know for yourselves that summer is now near. So you also, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But take heed for yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that day may come on you unexpectedly. For it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch, therefore, and pray always, that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. In the daytime he was teaching in the temple, but at night he went out and stayed in the mountain called Olivet. Then early in the morning all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. May God bless reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.